Hi, everyone. My name is Monica Thorne. I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Nginx. In this demo, I'll show you how to deploy Nginx Plus with Prometheus and Grafana. So Nginx Plus is our enterprise grade Nginx offerings. It's a fully supported all-in-one load balancer, reverse proxy, and web server solution. In addition to using the Nginx Plus dashboard to do real-time monitoring, you can get extra insight by using Prometheus and Grafana to visualize performance over time with a time graph. The Nginx Plus Prometheus module makes it easy to export Nginx Plus metrics data and then Grafana quickly parses the data from Prometheus to visualize it into a real-time graph for better visualization. This is key to detect unusual trends in your Nginx Plus instance and react accordingly. The Nginx Plus Prometheus modules uses the Nginx JavaScript module known as NGS and the Nginx Plus REST API to retrieve the metrics from Nginx Plus. Keep in mind that the module will not work with Nginx open source due to its limits metrics data. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my Nginx Plus server. So on the server, I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 with Nginx Plus using port 80. As a prerequisite, I've already installed um, Nginx Plus and NJS on the server. If you need more information about NJS installation, visit the link in the video description. So let me go ahead and just install the Prometheus module. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this up again. And then I'm going to, uh, well, get out of this directory and then go to this other Nginx directory and then list out all the files. And then I'm gonna be editing this Nginx configuration file. So at the top of the configuration file, I'm going to input a load module. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And then this next part is actually optional. I would only put this part in if I get a too big sub request response in my error log. So what this will do is increase the buffer size storing the response body of a sub request. And I would put it at the bottom of the HTTP block. So make a little space here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in just so you can see what it looks like. Then I'm gonna go ahead and save this file. Um, I'm just gonna check in real quick to make sure everything is okay. Yep, so everything's okay. So my next step is going further into this directory, list out all the files here. And there is one file um, called the default.config. So this file is listed in on port 80. I'm going to be making a new config file for Prometheus. So I actually need to remove this default um, file. I'm doing this because if I have both of these server blocks listening in on port 80, this will prevent um, pr my, pr uh, my, my Nginx Plus server from connecting to my Prometheus server. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one first. Then make a new one called prometheus.config. And then I'm gonna go ahead and edit the file. And in this file, I'm going to first add a JS import directive, uh, which will include the prometheus.js file. And then I'm gonna be making my own server block just put the closing bracket down here. And in this server block, I'm gonna be putting in two location blocks. One is for the Prometheus metrics. Go ahead, go ahead and put this in. And the, other, and the other location block is for the API in order to enable it to expose the metrics endpoint from Prometheus. And 
Now I'm going to go ahead and save this file. And then I'm going to make sure everything is working in order. Yep. And because I haven't already started my Nginx uh, server or Nginx Plus server, I'm going to go ahead and start it. And that's all I need to do for my Nginx Plus server. All right, next step, it, I'll go ahead and set up the Prometheus server. While I can't deploy it on the same server as Nginx Plus, I'm going to be doing what most people would choose to do and deploy on a separate server. I've already installed Docker on, on here. Um, I'm pulling Prometheus from Docker Hub and using the URL for Nginx Plus on port 9090. I'm using the Ubuntu installation instructions that are used for this version of Ubuntu specifically. If you're using other versions of Ubuntu or other open sources, you could go to the Docker web, website link down below to find the correct commands to install and use Docker. So my next step would be to create a new config in a separate file and then mount it to the Docker in order to connect it to the Nginx Plus server. Um, I'm, I've already uh, ahead of time went and made this file. Um, it is written using YAML. So I'll just go ahead and go into edit mode because there's one change I need to make. Um, and this is just uh, something I pulled from the Prometheus website. It's just a default um, config file. Um, but th there is one important change I will be making, um, and that will be in the tar targets section. So this is this is where uh, it's going to connect the Prometheus server with the Nginx Plus server. So I'll go ahead and just input the Nginx Plus server IP, save and quit the file. And then I'll go ahead and use um, a Docker run to get this server going. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and open a new tab. So in here, I'm gonna go ahead and input the IP address for uh, the Prometheus server I just got done editing. And um, so it, so the Prometheus server is working because we're in the Prometheus website. And just to make sure that the Nginx plus metrics made it through, I, I'll just click here. And this is the list I should be seeing. I'll go ahead and show a small example of how Prometheus works. So in the Prometheus graph, if I want to look into, say, how many client connections were accepted in a span of an hour, I'm going to go ahead and choose Nginx plus connections accepted, hit execute, and then I'm going to select graph. And there's not much of a result right now, but um, if I, well, actually, I, I can actually show you like more, maybe we get more results if I just go to the Nginx plus website. And then I'm going to refresh it a few times. Hit execute again. And you can somewhat see, it's kind of hard to see, but you, but you can see that the, that the results did change a little bit. And that's, um, and so that's all for the, the Prometheus server. I'll go ahead and move on to the Grafana server. So for my final server, I will be installing Grafana. I'm going to be making a Prometheus data source in Grafana using the Prometheus URL. Most of the setup to create my Prometheus data source will be on the Grafana website, so I won't be spending much time on this server. I'm going to be using Docker to install and run the, the Grafana server. There's a link down below listing other methods you can use to install and download Grafana. So since I already have uh, Docker installed um, I'm going to go ahead and just use Docker run to get uh, get this server going. And then I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab and just input the, the IP address of the Grafana server. 
So it should take me to a login page, and then I'm just going to input the default admin in both username and password. And it's gonna ask me to change my password, and for time sync, I'm not gonna do that, but I, I would strongly suggest um, in a production environment, you make a really good, strong, and secure password. So in the Grafana homepage, I'm gonna go ahead and go, go to this cogwheel over on the left side, sidebar of the page i'm going to click on data sources i'm going to add a data source and i'm going to, and I'm going to go ahead and select uh, prometheus and in the http section in the url part i'm going to input the ip address for my prometheus um, server Then I'm gonna go ahead and save and test and everything is working. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make a new um, graph. So I'm gonna cl click on the plus sign on the sidebar over here and create a new dashboard, add an empty panel. And it's already um, defaulted to Prometheus in data source, but just in case it did not, I could just go ahead and just um, click on the down menu here and select it. And just to make sure that the Nginx Plus me metrics made it over, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the metrics browser and just input Nginx. And as you can see, um, I did get the list that was is, is pretty much um, what I got in the previous Prometheus graph. So while Prometheus is really useful for looking at just one metrics, People like Grafana because it makes it really easy to look at a collection of metrics. Let me show let me show an example by looking at some metrics you can visualize in Grafana. So I'll go ahead and first select um, the Nginx Plus connections active. I'm going to add a new query. And then I think I'll choose Nginx Plus connections idle. I'll go ahead and refresh the dashboard. And now I can go ahead and compare the results of these two queries at the same time. So time graphs are really useful for detecting unusual spikes and trends happening, whereas the Nginx Plus live dashboard is perfect for troubleshooting something happening right now. That's the end of this demo. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you with getting more information out of your Nginx Plus deployments. If you'd like to learn more, please go to our Prometheus NJS webpage linked down below.